In this video, we're just going to go through the basic steps to get Archimy, the latest version of Archimy, that is Archimy 4.0 installed in a Remnix VM. Installation steps, though, should be very similar to any other supported distribution. So using Remnix here just as it's a very popular malware analysis base. Before we get started, though, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. That helps the channel, and I really appreciate it. Okay, so uh, for getting started here with Archimy, you'll find the tool on archimy.com. If you're not familiar with Archimy, I have several videos here already on my channel, so check those out. I've also got a full course on Pluralsight that you can walk through. It'll introduce you to all of the basics of using it, what it is, and the value that it provides. The TLDR is that it's a, it's a large-scale open-source index packet capture and search tool. And uh, you'll see that we're going to use it not to capture live traffic here as we get to the end of the install, but actually use it to process some PCAPs. Okay, first step, I want to go to the download page, scroll down to the different packages and then select the package that is relevant to you. Do note the packages prefixed with Archimy, those are gonna be the packages I'm using, the um, older ones. There are other uh, packages with Moloch. I'm not entirely sure the purpose behind those, and uh, I accidentally grabbed one before this demo, and it did vary a little bit in the installation step. So uh, use that if you'd like, but I'm gonna use those Archimy packages. Okay, to know which package to grab, you need to know which version of Ubuntu you're on. Remnix, as uh, the time of this recording, is on 20.04. You can get that information using the lsb underscore release dash a command. Which means then that we can download the Archimy 4.6.0-1 Ubuntu 2004 package. Once that's downloaded, we'll use the dpkg-i installation command. That'll install the package for us. And for me, with a default and up-to-date version of Remnix, I get some installation problems, namely some dependencies. So these are relatively easy to fix. We'll just use apt install to grab the packages that uh, the installation here is saying are required as dependencies. And then once that's done, we can run the installation again with Archimy and we should get information here or messages that say that the installation was complete. Now, next steps are, you can see, to view the readme.txt under opt archimy and then run opt archimy bin configure. You'll also find back on the GitHub page where we downloaded the package installation instructions. I have those open. These are the same instructions that come along with the readme that you were just referred to. And you can see as we're going through the installation instructions here, we've already completed one and two. And now we're on to step three. So opt archimy bin configure. So we're going to go ahead and run that as the root user. Okay, first step is to choose the interface that you want Archimy to listen on. This will be either to capture live traffic or to process PCAPs. You'll see that it lists found interfaces. We don't want the loopback. We want the one adapter, in this case, for this virtual machine. So that is ENS33. It is going to ask if you want to install Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is required for um, the, the, the really the tool to work because that's where it's going to store all of the data. Now, there is an option to use open search as well. I'm opting not to do that just because that would require you to install it beforehand. So you can use an existing installation of Elastic or open search, but if you wanna just get up and running, you can let the installer do that for you. So I am, for this demo, going to say, go ahead, yes. Okay, password is a bad password, but again, for demo purposes, I'm just gonna use something simple. That way I'll remember. Okay, last part of the installation or the configuration here is uh, to download geofiles. It says you will need a MaxMind account. I'm going to say no at this point in time. Okay, once this is complete, you get another reminder about the installation steps. So there are a couple more things that we need to do. Uh, the configuration script, that's step four. Now we need to initialize. So this is going to be the first install. So we're going to go ahead and run this command. I'm going to just copy that, take this back to our terminal paste it in, and then the only modification that you need to make is that that local um, Elasticsearch server is now running, um, is running locally. Now, if you opted to not install Elastic with this configuration, you can now point your Archimy installation at your instance of Open or Elasticsearch, okay? Uh, the init command, be aware, though, this is going to initialize um, the, uh, the Elasticsearch server for use by Archimy, and if you had an existing installation, this would wipe it out. Okay, um, you might get error codes here, something similar to this, and that it couldn't reach. So what we need to do is check the status of our Elasticsearch service. You'll see that it is loaded, but it's not running. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use systemctl to start. Give that a moment for Elastic to begin running, and then we can check the status again and hopefully continue on with our initialization. Okay, you can see now we are running. Let's try that init again. And there we go. 
Okay, well that finishes up. Add an admin user. So the next command, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Looks like the initialization is complete, so we'll paste that in. And uh, I'm going to just change the actual password. Again, very bad password, but for this demo, this will suffice. Okay, now we have an admin user that has been added. Final step is to start all of our Archimy services. The capture service will then be used to capture network traffic. The viewer is going to be the graphical component that you're going to be able to access in your web browser. Okay, since we're starting a service, we do need to do that as the administrative user. You can see there are a couple of different um, Archimy provided services, but we just need capture and viewer. And now if we go back, you should see uh, it does suggest that you look at the log file to make sure there are no errors. Otherwise, we should be able to open up our browser, go to localhost. Whoa, what am I doing? I'm already there. And go to uh, localhost on the default port of 8005. Okay, there is our admin and password. So the user that we created during setup. Yeah, I don't care. We'll save that. And there we go. We have Archimy up and running and we have uh, the viewer. So now that we have Archimy set up, it is a, an incredibly powerful tool to place somewhere on your network and start capturing data. It indexes the metadata and allows you to very quickly and I think efficiently search through very large volumes of network traffic. But where you place it and getting it up and running and stable and you know providing that backend uh, elastic cluster, those are all challenges that are a little beyond the scope of this video. The last thing that I want to show you though is we can also use this for malware analysis, although it might be a little bit of overkill versus using a tool like Wireshark, um, but I do have some scripts that support that because we can use, there is a service provided by Archimy to process PCAP. So uh, I have some PCAPs available on the GitHub. You can find my GitHub if you'd like. There is also, any PCAP will suffice though. Uh, there's also the script and we'll go through this script in just a moment in order to capture PCAP. So, Downloading the script, this is available as a GitHub gist. Um, and you'll see that I've already downloaded this and changed the, uh, the permissions on it by adding the execute bit to the Archimy process PCAP. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to the script, but there is a few things here that I should probably point out. Okay, uh, first and foremost, this is going to require one argument very simply, looking for a PCAP file. If it doesn't exist, or if you don't provide the argument, then it's going to fail. That doesn't really do a lot of very, um, it doesn't check that it is an actual PCAP or that the path exists. So you do need to be a little careful there. Um, it is going to clear your Archimy instance. So that's one of the big things in that it's going to provide an Archimy view of just the PCAP data. So everything will be wiped out using some of the utility scripts that are provided by Archimy. By default, it's going to be the localhost instance. So if you're using a you know, different setup, you might have to make modifications there. Also take note, this is going to redirect any errors to dev null and some of the output as well. Uh, so if you're running into issues and, and your PCAP data is not showing up in Archimy, I would suggest removing these two instances and then you'll be able to see any errors that were generated or other information about these commands. Once Archimy has been cleared, you'll see we got to process that PCAP. So there's the capture utility, and then we can just provide it dash r argument with our PCAP file, and that'll go ahead and capture that PCAP. Dash t is for tag, so the name of the PCAP becomes the tag, so you could use the naming convention to help with that. Last step is to restart the Archimy service. Okay, um, I did run into some issues with the initial setup yet at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those dev nulls Okay, and I'm also going to run this as the root user. Okay, so there you can see information about wiping the database and you might get some errors about this or some warnings I should say about getting the host name. That doesn't really uh, seem to affect anything. What you will, you will notice though is that there's this fatal config error. And so it suggests to try running this update geo. Perhaps this had something to do with not providing a MaxMind account. I don't know, but if we, basically the gist of this is that the PCAP did not process. So I'm going to run that command as the root user as suggested and looks like that should be good. So now we'll run this again and what we're hoping to not see is any fatal errors. Uh, certainly got different output in this case and let's go to now our interface and let's see what we have. Okay, you may not notice any data 
but we, if we change the the the, the time uh, the time range here to all, you'll notice that the PCAP I grabbed was from a couple of years ago. So uh, it, it is honoring the timestamp of the PCAP because we just ingested the PCAP. We didn't replay it over the network. But now by adjusting that, uh, because it's a small amount of data, it is safe to do that. Of course, you do need to be careful on you know, maybe production instances that have a lot of data when it comes to really expanding that time frame. But in this case, here is the information from the PCAP. And so now you have the ability to start exploring. And again, the powerful, you know, where Archimedes superpowers come from is that all of that metadata is now an index, it was indexed and becomes a searchable facet. So ports, uh, you know, source and destination IP protocols, even the, the amount of data, all of this you can drop down and start to build filters to, you know, cr you know carve out certain aspects of your network traffic that you want to investigate or drill down to a specific session. So very powerful tool. Hope you enjoy using it. Uh, if you're interested further in the project, they have a very active community that you can go and engage with the development team. So uh, any questions, any issues you run into, please leave comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video.